hello and welcome to the widow's oil. In a previous video I made called The Hunters in Your Kitchen, which I will link below, I spoke about Judaism and Roman Catholicism being two great uh, religious systems um, which we can see have been very um, destructive to Christianity. Um, and look, looking at those systems helps us to stand against all the many winds of doctrines we find in our world at the moment. Now, I've been looking a lot at Zionism and um, legalism, law keeping, um, like the Hebrew roots movement. So those are all aspects of Judaism. Um, but today I want to look at Roman Catholicism because even though we generally think that Roman Catholicism is not a problem and the church has through the Reformation overcome um, a lot of those uh, things of Roman Catholicism. Um, once you start to look at false doctrine and look at what's happening in the world, you actually see that the Roman Catholic Church still has a huge, huge influence. And so today I want to look at um, one of those doctrines that's really big. There are basically two at the moment. The, this Pope uh, has especially brought in this green um, ecology gospel. They call it the green gospel. But there's actually one that's far more destructive and, and that they basically have always been preaching, and that is this social justice doctrine. Um, and... This doctrine involves basically that you focus on pressing earthly matters, especially the poor. They focus on, you know, doing things for the poor, but that still isn't the gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, so I wrote a short book um, about this, which um, I will link below. And it's just a short book of 40 pages, which you can, you can read if you want to, and you can copy and distribute it. And it would be especially um, if, if you feel it can, can be a word of comfort to, to any Christian you know, um, and especially pastors, because, you know, everybody is, is attacking Christians. Um, and this uh, little booklet goes is about John 12, uh, which is a story of how Jesus stands up for Mary Magdalene when she um, when she anointed his feet with that precious oil. And when Judas said, why didn't she give sell it and give it to the poor? He rebuked her. Um, and that that uh, story um, of in John 12, that parable is really such a good description of what's happening in our world, how Christians are being constantly rebuked because how, of how um, there is no equity in the world and how they are not doing enough. Um, even the unbelievers are constantly being made to feel guilty and made to feel that it's their fault what's going on in the world. Meanwhile, people are absolutely helpless to do anything about what is happening. But you see, as all the systems of the world fall, then Satan um, has a field day in being an accuser. And especially us Christians, we are accused in very subtle, sly ways, but sometimes just open. So I tried in this book to, to be a voice of, of comfort, and that's not of myself. I, you know, the Holy Spirit is the comforter, and even though there are many faults in the church, um, we can see in the example in Reve Revelation 2 and 3, 
Jesus does see the good things that people do. Um, and, and he does speak words of comfort to those who are really trying uh, to stand in this time. So feel free to, to um, read my book. I, I also am I'm planning to make a, like a little audio recording of all the chapters. I'm, I'm not the best person to, to read the best voice, but those electronic voices sometimes are really depressing. And I want to make a reading also because I know, for example, in my life, I don't always have time to read, but I can always have my earphones on and listen to podcasts when I'm busy with chores. So I thought, you know, I will read those chapters but find a, a PDF um, linked below um, and it will greatly explain the doctrine of the Roman Catholic Church, which they have had forever and why it's unbiblical, and why it is against um, what Jesus taught.